Um, you know, I wanted to point out too that once you've created your base feature, you know, remember that's where we set our sheet metal thickness. Uh, if you want to change that, you go to here because this applies to the entire sheet metal so you can edit the gauge and the thickness, K factors, all that good shit uh, right there. But don't try to go edit the base feature because that stuff will generally be grayed out for the most part. So, um, you know, you only have so much option you know, to enter the base, fe edit the base feature there. So, anyway. Okay, if you want to use the base flange to add material, you got to have a closed profile. You know, we had an open profile on this original part, if you recall, but you need a closed profile to add a line like that. Now, um, I wanted to draw this so I could show you another feature. Um, I'm going to go draw a sketch on this plane here, draw a construction line, you know, from like here to here, and put a slit in it. could do it through all, but if you do, you know, you've got a bit of an issue, you know, with that other flange and the fact that it would be at an angle. Um, I'm going to go edit the sketch. like this you can't just fucking move them but um you see that through all it creates an ob you know oblong cut and so forth so you know that's why it's probably not best to do that it's better to you know, um, just use blind and link it to the thickness, for example. Um, <coughs> I mean, another problem that could arise if you put, ended up putting some other kind of feature, like a cutout flange in the middle or something like this, this could cut through it too. So, anyway. 